I actually got a call, I was around like 9.30 at night from my grandmother, and she said, you'll never guess what had just happened. Your uncle has been identified. She went on to explain that my great-great-uncle um, had gone missing during World War II. Remains were shipped over as part of a hundred different people that were identified and they had done a DNA test about two years ago with my great-grandmother and um, he actually was one of the hundred that got to be identified. We kind of just started from that point and it just grew into something literally unbelievable. My great-grandmother asked me to be the escort for him so I had the opportunity to fly from my base in South Carolina um, up to Omaha, Nebraska to escort him home. This is where he was from, this is where he grew up, where he got married, and so I had the honor to escort him back home. This is an event that happens to people maybe once in their lifetime, that you can actually come in and honor a World War II veteran who's been repatriated. Being a veteran of 24 years in the United States Air Force, it was important for me to be here to see one of my comrades put to rest. We just need to support them because they have done everything for us to give us our freedom, and that's the least I can do. We never thought that he would come home. I mean, I grew up seeing pictures and hearing the stories. To actually be able to be a part of this and to see all these different people come together and do so much to just take all the weight off of my family's shoulders, especially my grandmother, it's beautiful. It just shows you like community coming together and that's exactly how it should be.